Hey guys, what's going on? It's I Touch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I'm going to be showing you something that I've recently encountered, and it's an application from the Apple App Store known as YX Player. Now, there are three versions of this YX Player 1, 2, and 3, and what they allow you to do is basically play any AVI, FLV, MPEG, WMV, and a bunch of other file names um, that normally can't be played on any iDevice. So it's a real nifty application, only $4.99 in the App Store. They have a light version, so don't worry if you don't want to spend the money. But I definitely recommend you go spend that money on this application if you really want to watch these videos without converting them and losing video quality. So you can find this application once again in the App Store just by opening that up, clicking the search button, and then uh, you just go ahead and search for YX Player. And if you are on an iPhone or iPod Touch, it should come up with YX Player 2, YX Player 2 Lite, and YX Player 3. If you're on an iPad, it should only come up with YX Player 1, um, or just YX Player. Uh, so YX Player is obviously for the iPad. YX Player 2, which is $4.99, is for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And YX Player 3 is for the first-gen devices, which are the first-generation iPhone and iPod Touches, which is only $1.99. So if you click on YX Player 2, if you're going to be downloading it, you can obviously click on this and then click Buy Now to buy the application. But first, let me just go over what it features. Again, it supports MPEG, AVI, MP4, FLV, MKV, and WMV slash ASF files. It is the only application right now that plays 720p DIVX XVID smoothly, which is pretty nice. And uh, it also supports audio MP3, AAC, AAC+, WMA, AC3, and PCM. So it's a real nice application made by MobileSoft, I believe the company's name is. And you can scroll down here to see some screenshots, some information about the application itself. So the last update was on January 10th, 2011. It's version 1.1.1. I mean 1.1.0 and it's 6.4 megabytes not big at all so go ahead pick this up and uh, you can go ahead and open the application up it should be on your home screen and here you can see I have one file so far but let me just explain a little bit about the application itself down at the bottom we have five tabs here we have a browser of files a playlist of streams and more so browser just basically takes you to their home page which is I believe yxplayer.something and it gives you a bit of instructions here it's a basically a help page um, and basically over here you can see how to copy files from your iTunes to your device itself which in turn is um, gonna have you a file that is playable in this application so files is obviously where you have your files I have one file here after I'll play that for you guys after I'm done demonstrating how to get the file on your uh, device. We have playlists, we have streams, and we have more which can contain settings and about. So let me switch over to my computer so I can show you guys how to actually get your video files into this application. Hey guys, so back here at my computer and you want to have iTunes opened up, which you can find if you're on a Mac in Finder under Applications on the left hand side. Just double click on iTunes and it will open up. Or if you are on Windows, uh, you can definitely find it by going down to your Start menu and clicking All Programs and iTunes should be in one of those long lists. So you will need iTunes 9.1 or later for this process to work. Step one, you want to plug your device into your computer, which I'm going to do right now. And the way you know it's successfully plugged in is that on the left-hand side under devices, you should see you should see whatever uh, your device's name. So mine is Kieran's iPod, and you just want to click there. Uh, and then you also want to make sure that you have YX Player 2 sunk into your iTunes library under Apps or uh, you can just have purchased it from the iTunes store and it should already be in there. So I did a sync because I originally got it from my iPod. And then from here, you want to go to Apps, and you want to click Sort by Name just to make it easier. Go all the way down to the bottom, and you should see YX Player 2 or 1 or 3. Click on that, and now you can see that you can scroll down further here for file sharing, and you can click on YX Player 2 and it'll bring up a bunch of documents within the application. If it's your first time opening it up, then you won't have any documents in here, but uh, that's okay. I have a couple. And now what you want to do, you just want to take any video file that you have. So I have 
um, this file over here, which is just an FLV I downloaded off of YouTube, um, which is basically one of my videos. I'm just going to drag it right here, and you can see it copies it nice and quick. If you were to do this using um, OpenSSH or something like that, it would take forever. Uh, but thankfully, iTunes does it nice and quick like that with this file sharing feature. So now you have your file on your device, and I'm going to switch back over to my camera to show you all of the functionality of this application. Alright guys, so now that you have your file all sunk with YX Player 1, 2, or 3, you can go ahead and open the application up. You should immediately be brought to your files directory, which you can now see your new video file here. So mine says iPhone 4 is officially on Verizon, which was the name of my video, and it was an FLV. Now once you click on it, you have four options here. You can play, rename, delete, or add to a playlist, which is real nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and play the video here. No sound for now. Might decide to turn it on later. You can rotate. Now this stuff does stay on until you tap the screen. And you can see um, this does play very smoothly. It's actually the only application out there right now that plays these types of files. Um, at 720p smoothly, and I'll give you a quick audio test here since this is my video. Uh, if I can. Other news, you guys get to finally see my face on camera for once. So tell me what you guys think. Leave your voice opinion down below. Uh, if you. So that's pretty good audio quality, and the video quality is real nice. So that's basically how you do it. How to get any MPEG, AVI, FLV, WMV, and whatever, whatever other. Um, a file format was mentioned in that application's description. You can now play it on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Includes the first gen models. Great application. $4.99 is an amazing price point, I think. Um, and go pick it up in the App Store. You don't need to be jailbroken or anything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.